Alright guys, so we're back with part two. Uh, this is Chris with Black Rifle Survival if you're just stopping in. I have a video previous to this if you want to check out the first two items I unboxed. But uh, we're going to continue on now. Uh, you guys saw me a while back uh, when I got Malcolm's back from the Hidden Woodsman. Uh, just right up here. If I'm talking about him, i got to show it here. So we got Malcolm and John with Wingman115 hooked me up with an awesome patch here. So we got two, channel, two channels to shout out. I'll provide links for those. And obviously Malcolm's Day Ruck Bag. Got a surprise coming a little bit later. But um, you guys saw that I did the unboxing with that and I got one of these uh, Thermarest inside of one of my Amazon boxes and I'm running off my train of thought. But the thing is, is I like this so much and I got the yellow and the silver because the yellow liners in Malcolm's bag um, match this and I've got a whole theory uh, going on. I have a gear tag uh, in yellow that I use to mark trees so I know where I'm at. Similar to these, but I'll get to this in a second. But I ordered another Thermarest, actually two of them, but this one's the Coyote in gray. So it's the same identical one as this, so if you guys want you can check out uh, my video on the unboxing for the Hidden Woodsman and my tracker, Tom Brown tracker from Tops. But so now I have two of these, one for me and my girl, and this one's cool because it's coyote. It's my favorite color for most of my equipment. And yeah, I did the specs on that. So back to my other product here. I've got too much stuff in front of me. Just bear with me, guys. I'm moving stuff around. I wanted to show you another cool product here. This is the big one. It's also another Thermarest. This is not the Z seat, this is the Z light. So that's the seat, Z seat, Z light. You guys can tell the difference here. So, this is your full size sleeping pad. Uh, if you want to take a nap somewhere, this is pretty cool. Got the same uh, coyote and gray color. I'll provide the links to where I got this on Amazon. Uh, these aren't exactly the cheapest mats, but they're pretty durable and they're very comfortable. And they do insulate you and actually keep you pretty warm. I was surprised by uh, testing that out. So yeah, this is uh, the regular size. I think they have a couple different sizes, extra large and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so that's this one here. It's not much to unbox, it's just in plastic. Other than that, I'll be including it in future videos when I'm doing more camping. Hopefully in the fall we've got uh, some camping trips lined up that I want to try doing. So that leads into this guy right here. This is a gear tag by uh, Tech Shield, Proven Gear. So my theory with the yellow uh, was that it's high vis, you can see it. These are typically used for luggage. Um, you just throw them through a zipper or YKK and you can you know write a sharpie on here what it is, like you know clothing. Uh, mess kit. That's what the general purpose is. I've just repurposed it to, you know, use them as trail markers. So I'll just hang it on a tree limb or uh, wrap it around something. So that way, when I'm walking away, I can turn around with Malcolm's bag and that yellow liner. I've got these hanging out. So it's just my way of doing things. I don't know. Just testing out different methods. But yeah, so uh, there's a color pattern with that. But if you guys are wondering where I got those yellow tags from, this is the same company. Gear tag, tack shield. These are the uh, two inch. They also come in one inch, so there's half size. Or if you wanted to, you could actually cut these down the middle, I think. No, they're sewn in, so disregard that. You can't cut them in half. All right, so continuing in here, gonna go off on a separate item here. This is the Light My Fire, Grandpa's Fire Fork, made in Sweden. Of course. Uh, yeah, so you could do hot dogs on this. You could probably try uh, skewering some fish. I don't know. Um, put marshmallows on it like they have on the pitcher. But basically, as you can see, that's got a marshmallow holder. So it's up to you on how you want to use it. There's two of them in here, so you can share it with your friend or your significant other. Or you can just... Use two hands and then double feed yourself. A lot of marshmallows, so that's pretty good. 
I'm uh, looking for do 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 curved points. They hold the food food firmly. Uh, no need to cut fresh branches, and you can attach it to practically any stick. Uh, these are great for a fire poker. There's a safety cap for easy, easy storage, and there's a hole for cord and safety cap. And this is stainless steel wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video. I'm gonna slice this open, pull them out, and show you guys what they look like. All right, guys, let's go ahead and break this open. Oop, dropping it on the floor here. Ouch, that's sharp. This thing I don't like about the plastic packaging. So here's the uh, protectors. This says light my fire. I got it upside down. So I'm not going to really attempt to show you that. Well, it still shows up here. So you got two of these suckers. Let's just use the orange one. It's easier to see on camera. So I pull them apart. And basically how these guys work is you can see that there's a spring or a little coil here and then there's two hoop or more coils but you want to put them together like so and then basically you know you put your stick through and then the your stick going through this end is going to keep those from spreading apart and that's actually quite a lot of tension but anyways you get the point but to store these as you can see they're bent out a little bit kind of like a pot hanger and you just put those in I don't know how far in they go Maybe it's the other direction. Uh, I don't think it goes like that. I think I had it right the first time. Okay. So put them in like so. There we go. Pretty cool. I like that. So I think that'll be pretty neat for a campfire. You can do. If you don't want to put it on a stick, I'm sure you could probably find a fat stick and then just shove that on there and then you can do two at the same time so that's kind of close together two marshmallows hot dogs no problem maybe uh, some spam or something I'd like to see something like this with like a freaking uh, I don't know what are those called okay guys so that's gonna conclude and wrap up the uh, gear tag Z seats Swedish fire forks, my grandpa's fire fork, uh, <clears throat> Z-seat, and the awesome new comfortable Thermarest Z-Light. So, I'll put these in videos coming up. I've got a knife list that's on the back burner like you would not believe that I need to get through. So, piece by piece, unbox by box, I'll get to it guys. So. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this video. This is part two. Stick around. Part three is coming up next. I've got some really cool items here too. And uh, let's keep going with this. Again, this is Chris with Black Rifle Survival. If you like the content of this unboxing video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, you know the drill. Catch you guys on the next video.